what's the latest with the Japanese moon landing charade? Well, we're going to have a look. And i got to tell you, it's a lot worse than I originally thought. We start the video with this tragic scene mixed in with some piano as we get to see the Japanese moon lander upside down, supposedly on the surface of the moon. Awful. No, this isn't a prop. Honestly, it's not. This image was supposedly taken by the rover, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. Every time I see this, I think Sega and I expect Sonic the Hedgehog to go flying by. Honestly, I mean, look, terrible. So this gripping, piano-driven pantomime will have fantasists on the edge of their seats. Now, one thing I noticed here, what, what, what's that say? The mission team still holds out some hope for a slim revival. Oh, please, let that prop work. Now, one thing I noticed here, I can't see tracks from the lunar rover. So I'm going to look at the rover now and, and we're going to familiarise ourselves with this incredible bit of technology from the, the tech giants known as Japan, because there doesn't seem to be any tracks. And all I really can see on this image was what appears to me is a cheap prop, you know? So let's have a look at the, 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 the rover here, which supposedly took this image, which no doubt coming from Japan is gonna be incredible as far as technology is concerned. And this is the Japanese lunar rover. Huh? So the Japanese Lunar Rover was made by a toy company? What? They're having a laugh. No doubt this thing will be on sale and the fantasists will buy it and explore their garden thinking they're on the surface of the moon. Oh dear. You're kidding me, right? This is the Japanese Lunar La uh, Rover from the tech giants known as Japan. You are kidding me, right? <laughs> wow, like I said earlier, it's worse than I originally thought. A toy churning up the imaginations <laughs> of fantasists. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh perfect thank you for that so we get left this very obvious track from the toy from the tech giants japan okay interesting any more or just more piano and more toys yeah that'll do thank you so we come back to this incredibly convincing scene and we look for evidence of that rover having been deployed from a craft that was upside down but all right it was a ball so we'll give him a bit of a pass on that but i can't see any tracks anywhere there's the tracks of the incredible bit of tech we saw just now from the toy manufacturers blowing the imaginations of very foolish naive individuals away and we come back we see no evidence whatsoever no doubt the fantasist will conjure up any old excuse well what happened was the rover deployed the opposite side, did a loop around the back. Regardless of wasting energy, it didn't want to tarnish the shot with tracks. Alright, so now it's facing the lunar craft without any disturbances upon the lunar surface. Or, 
they'll just say that's tough terrain which probably would have been a problem for the toy anyway all right this is embarrassing it's come from japan which is supposed well is a technological heavyweight cameras and technology and yet we got something that looks like a prop a very cheap one and their rover was made by a toy company if you believe this stuff <laughs> you really need to have a word for yourself please have a good weekend everyone <laughs>